So this is where we left off in the last video. We have these three cubes. When I click on the red it starts to rotate. I click on the green it starts to rotate. I click on the blue it starts to rotate. And when I click again it stops rotating. But let me show you what happens when all the cubes have the same color. So I'm going to set the second cube to red, third cube to red. So I'm clicking on the third cube and the first cube starts to rotate. And I'm clicking on the second cube, it stops rotating. I mean the first cube. So it's not very efficient. So I'm just going to set them back and I created this new Python file, color picking part two. I already typed everything out and I'm going to try to explain what happens. So first of all I created a new global variable called pick and set its value to false. Then from the mouse button callback I, I'm just setting the global pick to true every time I press the left mouse button. And if the pick is true, then this picker function will be called. So it reads back the pixels, but this time not as GL float, but as GL unsigned byte. So now the return color values will be between 0 and 255 instead of 0 and 1. So I am change this if data sub 0 equals 255 then the red rotation is switches to, to the opposite. So if it's true it will switch to false, it, it is if it false, it will switch to true, and the same with the data sub one, which is the green, and the data sub two, which is the blue value. So I'm created here after the vertex buffers. I'm created this big texture then bind this texture. Then I created a custom frame buffer object, so FBO, and I'm binding this frame buffer object. Then I'm creating this text image 2D with a width of 1280 and a height of 720. And with this GL frame buffer texture texture 2D, I'm setting this texture uh, to the frame buffer, to our custom frame buffer. So here it is, this GL frame buffer texture 2D. Attach a texture texture image to a frame buffer object. So with this, we are attaching this. Pick, pick texture to this frame buffer object. Then I'm I'm unbinding the frame buffer and unbinding the texture to the. Here everything is the same. I'm I'm created a pick colors. So now everything. The cube colors will 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 have every cube will have the same red color and the pick colors 
will be unix so for the first cube it will be red for the second cube it will be green and for the third cube it will be blue and let me show you something i just created in inkscape so OpenGL by default draws to the default frame buffer and this frame buffer is is what it gets displayed on the screen and now I'm created a custom frame buffer for off-screen rendering and in this custom frame buffer these three cubes, each cube has unique colors and the default frame buffer these are all red so this is the pick buffer where the picking happens so when I click on the cube the return at color value will be based on this uh, custom frame buffer and go back so first of all I move the GL clear color to the application loop and I'm clearing out the color buffer bit and depth buffer bit of course then I'm drawing to the default frame buffer. This is the same as, uh, as in the last video. So draw elements to the default frame buffer. Then I'm drawing to the custom frame buffer. So I'm binding the frame buffer FBO. I'm clearing out the custom frame buffer to pure black. I'm clearing its uh, color buffer bit and depth buffer bit then I'm drawing to that custom frame buffer with this for loop so every cube in the custom frame buffer has its transformation um, or translation matrices the color values are from the pick color list and I'm drawing here and if pick is true so if I'm click with the mouse button the pick gets true then this picker function gets called this picker function so it reads back the pixels prints out the pixels pixel data makes the rotations and after this it finishes the pick while you get is set back to false so after it's done I'm, I'm just unbinding the custom frame buffer so now it is color picking part 2 so now all my cube has the same color as in this drawing the background is green the cube has uh, cubes has uh, set all um, red and uh, where it is here it is when i click it reads back the zero 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 because we are setting the clear color to zero 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 so pure black in the custom frame buffer and when i click the first cube it says 255 red zero green zero blue 
when I click on the second cube it says 0 red, 255 green, 0 blue and the same with the third cube. So 0, 0, red, green and 255 blue. So this custom frame buffers can be used for all sorts of uh, post-processing effects. So I'm just going to do a separate video for just for frame buffers, explaining uh, how they are how they were working and in the next video I'm going further improve this uh, color picking functionality because it can be improved further so until then thanks for watching